this is the look that I'm planning on wearing this Friday for going out. Yeah, it's going out look, simple. You can wear, or it can be every day, like just whatever you want, honestly. I was thinking about doing a like 2000 smoky eye type of makeup look. So I've already done my um, my priming. I primed with um, Fenty Matte Primer. So I'm gonna fill in my brows first. I chemical burned my brows off like um, two years ago, and honestly, I don't feel like th I don't feel like they've grown back the same. Also, I pluck my eyebrows to half their size, so obviously I could just let them grow out, but then they'd be this big. That's the mixed race jeans coming in, coming through, I mean. Um, brows done. I actually want to curl my lashes first because I'm putting concealer on my eyelids as well for this. Okay, I'll allow it. Got some acne scars. Going to just spot conceal. Dab it in with my fingers. I thought I might as well do something other than watching uh, YouTube, watching Miasaurus and PewDiePie all week. Decided that I will um, add my talent to the platform. Okay, and once the spot concealing is done, I'm going to do blush. Blush with lipstick. So I'm going to blend this in. Okay, I might have put a bit much on this side. This lipstick I got for Christmas from my cousin. My cousins. Um, one of them works at a consulting firm or an auditing firm. So um, she went and got me the YSL lipstick because um, she can. That's going to be me when I'm done with uni. I used to have eczema around my eyes as a child and I had it for so long that I've got these like little lines under my eyes. So when I do, I start with a bit. When I do an eye concealer, I just dab it. But I don't go all the way up to like the edge of my eye. Because then that's where like that's where the creasing comes in. Um and I'm not a fan of that personally, if I do say so myself. And then I just add a bit more and I build it um pro progressively. The blush is already under so it can form a gradient on its own without looking weird. Okay, now we're doing the eyelids. Yep. This is fine. I don't know what it is about light eyelids. But it's just, it's nice. I used to have bad acne when I was like in in secondary school, beginning of secondary school, um, and I got prescribed tretinoin, and it's made my face so pale. Can't really see, especially in the summers, I am putting sunscreen all the time. My body gets so dark, but my face is like still pale. I do get freckles in the summer though. So I, I start with one of these brushes. I'm gonna take. Oh yeah, I have to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to take the lightest one, it also like helps set the um, concealer that you've just put there. Other side. Okay, and now I want to do like a grey look. I'm going to start middle towards the outer corner. I'm just going to tap it I guess. Depending on like how your eye space, eyelid space looks. It's going to look different for everyone. So I'm keeping it quite light with the eyeshadow this time. The amount of cuts this video is going to have. So the next bit is that I'm going to add eyeshadow to um, draw some eyeliner. I'm using an angled brush. Um, so I'm using the same grey that I did the eyeshadow with. I'm gonna go back over it with black now, black eyeshadow, to make it darker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
now I'm not going all the way over the, the grey liner, I'm like doing kind of like a fade and so it blends into itself and I'm going to add as a last touch for the eyeshadow a bit of sparkles then I'm gonna go with the like the lightest one just a bit, tap it on and next we're going to, oh, I have to do mascara I'm putting it on both the top and bottom lashes Right, so the last step for the eyes is a white kajal for the, um, it's not white, it's like, it's like light beige. Once we've done the actual waterline, we're going to extend it out to this little gap that we made with the two eyeliners just to make the slice look more sharp. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's eyes done. I'm gonna move on to the rest of the face. For contour, I've got this like three toned thing. It's gone, it's going. But I'm gonna do this on my forehead and my cheekbones. On my forehead, cheekbone, and and then also my jawline the nose um this part is the scariest for me because i fell out i fell on my face off a swing when i was a child literally the two things i always tell new friends like or when i'm just meeting new people is ah oh, you know i've cut my eyebrows to half their size and i fell on my face when i was a child that's why my nose is like crooked first of all like i'm using the same brushes for different things i'm wiping off my angled brush because i'm gonna use it on my nose and then I bring it all down to the middle, like a, like a really long V. Draw like a line. Yeah, like that. Draw that, and that should connect to the, the two sides of the V that you just drew. I'm really saying you as if anyone's going to follow this. And then I connect that line in the middle. Blend that, and then this side as well. Then I refine that just a bit with a bit of concealer on the tip. Blend this out. We're going to do a lip liner and um, lipstick combo. Yes, I overline. I will be overlining, that is. So I've purposely chosen a liner that's slightly darker than the actual lipstick. The reason I don't use foundation is because my trick is to take a powder, so a tinted powder that is, people will bake with it, but what I'll do, um, instead, of, instead of using this for like baking or like setting necessarily, I use this as a skin tint. I take the tiniest bit, like you don't need a lot at all, like that's how much I've got on my, on my brush and I just powder my face lightly and it's buildable as well you don't want to put on too much at once like it's light on your skin than using foundation there like it still looks like skin is a thing so i start where i put my contour and then i just bring it up if you're wondering like oh what if the what if the powder um rubs the concealer off that you put earlier let me tell you something it's just go right back in with it a tiny bit of course there's nothing wrong with using a foundation I've just, since I've had bad skin, I'm like too scared to put foundation um, all over my face. You can do whatever you want. I'm just, like, I gatekeep this and I'm sharing it now. So, yeah, this is my powder trick. And that was the last of the makeup. I've completely forgotten the highlighter. So I'm going to put a bit on my nose. Put on my nose. I'm using the Fenty. I put the, um, the more shimmery one more shimmery one on my nose but then I'm going to combine the shimmer and the sparkle side for the cheeks cheekbones and that's the finished look yeah this is this is it not really sure maybe I'll follow up with an outfit whatever I wear on Friday this week
I definitely need to practice my speaking in front of the camera skills and I'll see if I do another one of these.